Hello, Vettel121 here. Welcome back, and we are Let's Playing Final Fantasy IX. And in this episode, we're going to continue exploring Dolly. And we found Garnett. Yeah, what is she looking at? What's got her so mesmerized? <laughs> I like how Zidane is uh, mimicking her, her movements here. It's pretty funny. <laughs> It's, it's nothing, I'm fine. Man, you are acting strange. I get it. You changed the way you talk. Uh, yeah, you are doing great. I don't think you would say the other choice, so yeah, I'm not gonna choose it. Uh, you sure know how to fake it. Uh, you were Ruby? I, I don't think it matters which one of those you choose, but okay. And I want to be your canary is one of Garnett's favorites. Oh. Okay. No, no, no. Do not talk like her. She's got some weird southern accent. No offense to people with southern accents, but I'm not a huge fan of them. I mean, you can be from the south and... Not be a fan of the way I talk. I mean, whatever. You, it's your, it's your right. I'm just not a huge fan on Southern American accents. I don't really like it. Head back soon, huh? Oh, okay. Thanks, I had fun. <laughs> She's got the speech down right, but her manner, her physical mannerisms are still wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm going to try and buy some more wrists, actually. Uh, let's see, let's sell some high potions. I don't really need those, do I? And, uh... You know what, 98 is almost maximum. That's probably good enough. Just let Steiner be and go back to the end. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, you have anything yet? Nothing? Okay. Well, let's go in here. Yeah, there might be a problem with that. Hmm. Yeah, where are all the adults? I mean, you got the mayor, the innkeeper, and then everyone else is a kid. strange, that's for sure. Well, okay, there was that one old lady who was tending the, uh, the farm, kind of like on the outskirts of the village, but other than those three adults, nothing but kids. Ah, to hell with Rusty, man. We don't need him. Yeah, man, forget about Rusty. And Queen Bronsteiner. Oh, yeah, this should be good. <laughs> Love the music playing here, too. Firewood stacking duties are complete! Wow. Way to kiss up. I await your command. What, what, are, you, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, why are you doing all this, you moron? Until nightfall, okay. Interesting.
They are a prime source of information, but there's no one in the pub during the day. Why don't you try coming back at night, Steiner? Come on, Rusty. You could do better than that. Indeed! I command the Queen's... Wow. Way to be low profile. I thought we were supposed to be trying to blend in. Wow. This guy doesn't really think too clearly. No, he probably just doesn't think at all. The observatory. Oh, okay. Yeah, we were there earlier. He's the guy that likes coffee or something. Hmm. Uh... Nay, it is I should thank you for your assistance, blah blah, I must make haste. Oh, Rusty. Such a fool you are. The kings were hiding something in their mansion. Wow, what's he talking about? Yeah, where is the little guy, huh? Kinda looked like before he got snatched by somebody. So yeah. Uh, hold on a second. Alright. Uh, let's go over here and, uh, try and find Vivi. I guess. Yeah, I had to take a pause break there because my controller had actually just conked out, so I had to uh, disconnect it, reconnect it, and uh, yeah, that's getting to be uh, very, very annoying. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on. What do you mean you don't know? You gotta know something, man. He's a kid like you. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Hey, 120 gil. That would have actually came in handy, like, before. When I was trying to buy all those wrists. But, oh well. Yeah, let's actually go over to where Vivi was standing. Might give us a little clue. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. Do I hear a chocobo? Vivi said you heard a chocobo here. Sniff, sniff. Oh, somebody's crying, huh? Sniff, sniff. What hole? That little pot? Holy crap. Zidane! Holy crap, he's like underground or something? Jeez. How the hell did he get under there? Who's they? At least he's not hurt. Yeah, this place is kind of creepy. Yeah. Well, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and equip uh, Garnet with a feather head, even though. Uh, well, she can't really take advantage of it, I guess. Uh, yeah, and that's fine. Okay, let's go in here, because that's where we have to go next. And over here we get a question mark, because, well, this is where we're supposed to go. Yeah, let's go down. Phoebe's underground, so we're bound to find him down here. Chest with 156 gill. Yay! That helps. This isn't. Just a regular underground storage facility. Oh, a 
want something else. What do you mean, why is it moving? Well, actually, I, I know why, but... I'm trying to act as though I don't know why. Put this in a box? Hmm. And Garnett is... thinking about Alexandria, but at the same time Zidane is thinking about Vivi and his safety and... Yeah, what does Alexandria have to do with, uh... Well, it's about to get explained, yeah. Yeah, it's Alexandria, basically. So Alexandria has something to do with, uh, what's going on in this underground facility. So yeah, be stealthy, Zidane. Like a real thief. Come on now, I know you know how to do that. Don't be like Rusty. Alright. Yeah, it is pretty weird. Alright, we get some eye drops. And here we get a potion. Yay! Hmm. Alright. And over here we actually have a Moogle. Hi, Moogle. Kumop. And this guy wants us to, to deliver a letter to Mog Mogki? Mogki, whatever, I don't know. But, uh, let's see. If we, uh, do something with this... Ooh, it's shaped like a coffin, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, we're supposed to do something with this thing. That drops a chest. Yay! Let me get a potion. And what is... Yeah, we're supposed to come over here, jump up. And we can jump up here. And we can get another chest with an ether. So, yeah, that's very nice. Come on, can I get down? Thanks. Do-do-do-do-do. Yeah, and I don't think we can get into uh, random encounters right now, although I could be wrong. Alright, we get an Iron Helm. We already have one of those, though, but I guess having a second one won't be a bad thing. Uh, could use it for uh, synthesis, maybe, later on. I don't, I don't know for sure, but... Alright, we get a Leather Wrist. And, uh... Yeah, I might as well give that to her, I guess. Better stats all around. Defense, all that good stuff. <clears throat> Ooh. I don't think I wanted to come up here. And I did. Yeah, there's no point. Oh, yeah. You know what? There's another thing I need to change here. Uh, cursor. Not initial memory. Battle camera. Bat Battle message here icon target window. Yeah, I want to uh, change this to always. Uh, some people were mentioning, uh, yeah, it's a lot easier to target because uh, you get like a window as opposed to like trying to target uh, with an arrow. And some of you were like, yeah, that's much easier. You should do that instead. I've never actually done that or used this mode before, but I'll give it a try. Hmm. It is you. Okay. I'll get you out. 
Yeah, why why would they, man? That's There's no rhyme or reason. Hmm. Yeah, they asked me, why were you outside? And then they said, the cargo ship isn't even here yet. And those are clues as to, uh, well, the events to come, basically. Today's ship, man. Hmm. Screaming back. Oh yeah, you totally should, man. Get off me, you scumbag! <laughs> Garnet's like, scumbag? Wow. Yeah, that's some pretty amazing stuff. What is what thing? Oh, it's some kind of machine. Well, that's interesting as well. All right, well, go ahead and equip Vivi here. Uh, yeah, Vivi can learn add status, which is kind of cool. If he has a weapon that uh, that uh, has a status effect to it. Alright, and we get 95 gil, yay! And, uh, let's check this thing out. Is that an egg? Yeah, it is, I think. It must be some co other kind of device. Alright, you know what? This is a good time to end the episode. So, that is all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. In the next episode, we will continue exploring the underground uh, facility here in the village of Dali, find out what this mist machine is, why it's making weird shaped eggs, and what these eggs have to do with Vivi. So there you go, this is Veto121, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.